Hello pilots and ground crew, welcome back to my channel again. Well, first of all, sorry I haven't posted any videos for a while. I think it's been over a week since I last posted my last video. But uh, I haven't been very well, alright, basically. So I haven't been able to get out. As it is, the weather's been pretty lousy anyhow, but... <coughs> sorry. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. The weather's been pretty lousy anyway. So there's only been a few decent days, but uh, I've been trying to catch up with your videos anyhow. But no, so I haven't been out, I haven't done any flying out like that. And uh, even though I've got one or two vlogs to do about some different gear and stuff, you know when you don't feel very well and you just can't be asked. <laughs> Excuse my French. But I thought I'd do this video because there is a couple of things I want to tell you. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna do, I've done a video similar to this, right, but uh, I had an email, not an email, it was a comment from uh, Jeff, uh, I can't remember your last name, bloody hell, but whatever, and he flies planes, bloody good pilot, you probably already subscribed to him, but a real good pilot, and I've mentioned a few times you want to get into putting an FPV backpack on your plane and I don't mean what you carry your gear around when I say backpack but an FPV setup on your plane and he'd left a comment saying uh, you won't know where to start basically what gear to get and everything so I want to make a video he hasn't asked me to you know what I mean he ain't come begging saying help help you know what I mean but I want to make a video because I've got got like two types I've got one for my truck which you can also put on a plane and I've got another one on my plane and they're actually set up in different ways so I thought I'll whack them on the table I'm not doing that today this is a video that's coming up whack them on a table and uh, show show you basically how to put them together and they're very simple actually but what you need what gear you need and I'll leave you like a shopping list but buy it from wherever you want but just so everybody knows how to do it also coming up I've got uh, a new quad all right and uh, it's so sort of special you may have seen it before it's not brand new it's not as if it's just come out today all right but uh, it's a ready to fly quad but it's somewhat quite special actually yeah so uh, I've got a review of that coming up and there's a couple of other bits and pieces but while we're here <coughs> I wanted to mention and not go into detail there's loads of videos about the new uh, laws coming out and the £16.50 and all like that we're gonna have to pay and and sort of like and the confusion where Bruce Simpson summed it up once uh, once not well Bruce Simpson summed it up best when he says there's two parts to fill out but it tells you you only have to fill out one part you know what I mean, if you own drones, if you fly drones and, and when I say drones, I mean they're covering all the RC model gear they're just calling it drones, RC model drones, whatever but that brings me to the point because this has all come about from people moaning about drone pilots and stuff right, with the phantoms and stuff now I'm not people, not the I'm not knocking people that fly phantoms and stuff like that because I used to own a couple of things like that, right? Which I've got videos up, right? So I don't own them anymore, but I'm more on quads and planes now, but uh, and fish. <laughs> That's another story. What's the video? Nori. Yeah, but uh, because all this come about because of people moaning about drones, oh there's drones over my house, there's good drones over Gatwick, yeah right drones over Gatwick, I don't bloody think so, but anyway, yeah, and they brought all this new law in, and what made me laugh, now I'm a member of the British Model Flying Association, and I was, which I don't bother anymore, I got sick of it all, I was also on their Facebook page, but there were so many members, right, who just fly planes, constantly, calling hell out of people that fly quads and stuff and everything else and everything the funny thing is a lot of the pilots who fly helicopters that they, they went morning <laughs> it was only the people that fly planes oh there should be banned there should be this there should be laws there should be 
fans and all sorts of stuff and I got sick of reading reading it on Facebook so I come out and that's not knocking British Model Flying Association because they say be nice to everybody okay but uh, as I said in a comment uh, that's really poured a lot of uh, you don't pour petrol on a fire right because as we all know after all these complaints that's gone on by everybody else and the general public and stuff right we've got this registration we have to fill out now well the problem is it's all come about as I said just then at the beginning right because of people moaning about drones now there's an online test exam now I've got a nasty feeling that exam is going to be very difficult for people who's only ever flown model aeroplanes Right, and you have to take it too, because it's covering the full spectrum of RC models. Right? I don't think it's trucks. But uh, the full, full spectrum of RC models that fly. So, I've got a nasty feeling when it comes along, it's going to be questions like, oh, when you're taking off, right, how far away from a, uh, people do you have to be? Do you have to be in control of this? Or that? Sort of like questions that, people that operate quadcopters and drones no but questions that people that only ever fly airplanes might not know because they've never had to deal with where to land or how far away from somebody to land and stuff like that and it, it's different you know what I mean when you land in a plane it's a completely different scenario to land in a quad you can land a quad two inches from your foot you know what I mean well, you can land the plane to winch it from your foot, but get ready to jump. But I've got a nasty feeling when this uh, online exam comes out, there's going to be a lot of people that fly model planes that's going to have problems, which I think is wrong. I'm not laughing about that. I think it is, it, it's going to be bad for them. And especially a lot of the uh, older pilots, well, I'm no frigging spring chicken, but uh, the... the one old guy who I speak to, he's in his 80s and he still flies model aeroplanes, right? Not the huge stuff anymore, but he likes to go out and fly every now and again. Right? And I reckon he could have problems depending on what the questions are, which we don't know what the questions are yet. I could be completely wrong. But once again, because this has all come about because of drones and all oh, the big scary, as Bruce Simpson says, baby killers and all that, you know, a lot of crap. But uh, I've just got a nasty feeling a lot of these questions are going to be very difficult for people that's only ever flown planes. And I hope they all get together and cause a big below about it. And, well, it's just something I thought about, so I thought I'd mention it. We'll see what happens in the future. But getting back to this video, the main thing is, like I said, I haven't been very well, so uh, I haven't posted any flight videos because I haven't been out flying. I was hoping to get out flying the other day actually, but I took a, a t took a turn, so I didn't get out. But uh, hopefully uh, by next week, and if I get this posted, it's Friday the third today, so hope me, hopefully by next week uh, I'll be able to get out. And you'll see some flight videos and also I'll have the energy to uh, get these uh, vlogs done and uh, stuff like that and the information videos. But I just wanted to let you know what's going on because I have had one or two comments saying how come you haven't posted out for about a week George. Because I usually try and knock out two or three videos a week. Two at least but uh, two or three sometimes more. Okay then, uh, I'll leave it there then pilots of ground crew. 